Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Isambard Kingdom Brunel, a towering figure in the history of engineering and industrial design, was born on April 9, 1806, in Portsmouth, England. Renowned for his innovative contributions to the fields of civil and mechanical engineering during the Industrial Revolution, Brunel left an indelible mark on the landscape of 19th century Britain with his ambitious projects and visionary approach to design. Brunel's early exposure to engineering came through his father, Marc Isambard Brunel, a respected civil engineer of French descent. Young Brunel's education was eclectic blending formal schooling with practical apprenticeships. His early experiences laid the foundation for his later career, and ignited a passion for pushing the boundaries of engineering possibilities. His first major project, the Thames Tunnel, commenced in 1825 and presented significant engineering challenges. This underwater tunnel, intended for pedestrian and carriage traffic, required innovative engineering solutions due to the difficult conditions, including waterlogged soil and frequent flooding. Despite facing numerous setbacks, including financial difficulties and technical challenges, Brunel's perseverance led to the successful completion of the Thames Tunnel in 1843. Brunel's career reached new heights with his involvement in the Great Western Railway. Appointed as the chief engineer, he oversaw the design and construction of the railway, setting a broader gauge than the standard at the time. His visionary decision to adopt a broad gauge facilitated faster and more stable travel, contributing to the success of the Great Western Railway. The design and construction of the SS Great Britain, launched in 1843, marked Brunel's entry into maritime engineering. This iron-hulled steamship, with a combination of a screw propeller and an auxiliary sail, revolutionized maritime transport. It was the first ocean-going ship with an iron hull and a screw propeller, demonstrating Brunel's commitment to innovation and efficiency. Brunel's ambitious projects continued with the design and construction of the SS Great Eastern, a colossal steamship that surpassed anything of its time. Despite financial setbacks and technical challenges, the ship was eventually completed, showcasing Brunel's audacity in pushing the boundaries of engineering. His foray into the world of bridges resulted in the design and construction of the Clifton Suspension Bridge in Bristol. Though Brunel did not live to see its completion, the bridge stands as a testament to his engineering prowess, spanning the Avon Gorge and serving as an iconic landmark. Brunel's visionary contributions extended beyond the physical realm to organizational innovation. He adopted a holistic approach to projects, involving himself in aspects ranging from engineering design to project management. His ability to integrate diverse elements and oversee every facet of a project set him apart as a true engineering pioneer. Tragically, Isambard Kingdom Brunel's life was cut short when he passed away on September 15, 1859, at the age of 53. Despite the premature end to his prolific career, Brunel's legacy endures in the structures and innovations that continue to shape modern engineering. His impact on transportation, bridges, and maritime engineering remains an integral part of Britain's industrial heritage. In conclusion, Isambard Kingdom Brunel's life and work epitomize the spirit of innovation and daring ambition characteristic of the Industrial Revolution. His engineering feats, from tunnels and railways to steamships and bridges, left an enduring legacy that transformed the landscape of 19th century Britain. Brunel's legacy serves as an inspiration for subsequent generations of engineers emphasizing the transformative power of bold vision and technical ingenuity.